Today we have scheduled a meeting for all of the people who host various shows at EcoGeek. It's a little bit drizzly, but I'm going to take this opportunity to ride my bike to the office. I haven't tried that yet, so I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to take or how well it will go. But, you know, first time for everything. And then Caitlin came on to help, and now Matthew Gatos is also helping with that channel. And then I was hired to be the host, just the host for SciShow Kids. So I do a little bit of writing. We just helped Henry shoot a minute physics video with my drone. And when you say we, you mean you. I helped Henry shoot a minute physics video I watched. with my drone about bicycles. Bicicletas. For part of it, I was flying the drone kind of right over Henry's head as he was riding the bike, and it was kind of windy, and it was pushing the drone around, and for like a second, I started getting really close to his head, and I was like, whoa! The thing about it is that I just really want to see the little birds in the nest. I don't think the mom's happy about it. I saw it. I saw the little bird. In continuing with the only eat at home challenge, <clears throat> today we've got some ham wrapped asparagus spears. I don't really, it just, I just put some ham on some asparagus. <laughs> Didn't seem like that big of a deal. The second part of that meal was a pretty heavy peanut butter protein shake. So now my stomach is really full but I still need to get a jog in for the day. So we'll see how sick I feel after this. Look at those clouds. It reminds me of that scene from Independence Day when the aliens show up. The skies are always so pretty here. That bird up there is a Western meadowlark. And the, the song that it has reminds me of growing up in Chino Hills. Those birds were all over the place. And every morning I'd wake up hearing that bird song. I think that was 5.27 miles. I only intended to run three, but I accidentally passed the point where I would turn around, and then I figured, eh, what the heck? It never stops being weird to me that it's after 10 o'clock now, and it's still kind of light outside. Right after I turned the camera off from that last clip, there was a huge explosion noise that happened. It got that dog barking. I wonder what the heck that was. It sounded like a a cannon or something. I don't see anything out of the ordinary in that direction. Maybe sounded like it came from the direction of the airport? I don't know. I would just go up to my balcony and have a look, but now these buildings are in the way. I mean, I assume if it was something bad, I would hear emergency vehicles by now. I'm a little bit afraid to stop filming just in case it happens again.